very difficult um, being a 38th round draft pick um, to make it to the, the major league level. Um, I did the calculations on the, uh, the percentage of people who actually make it out of the 38th round. is was about 2% chance that I had of making it after I got drafted. So it was very slim. Uh, so I realized I needed something else. I mean, just my, my natural talent wasn't enough, especially I, coming out of Connecticut, I was really raw. I didn't really have uh, the experience. I realized that after I got drafted, got, I got to my, my brink and I, was, I wasn't playing. I wasn't, um, I wasn't on the track that I wanted to be on. And I had a talk with my, my uncle and I said, from now on, I'm just going to go out there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dominate. So what I started doing is I started reading my word in the morning time. I'd, I'd pray before I get up to my bat. I started reading my word at night before I went to bed every night. And this just became a, a part of me. It became a routine. It became uh, something that I looked forward to doing. I would, I would gain strength in just listening to the word. And then I would apply that word to the field. And um, I would believe that God's going to work through me, my body, he's going to work through my hands, he's going to be my eyes to see, he's going to, he's going to do all these things through me. Um, and I started gaining a lot more confidence in God. And, and that was how my, my relationship started. As I was growing up, I, I was raised in the church. Um, my mom took me to church. Um, her parents went to church. Um, Going to church was uh, something that we all did. It was, it was tradition uh, for us to go to church, especially on Sunday morning. And as I got older, um, I realized uh, that in order for me to make it to the major league levels, I needed something else. I needed something stronger. And um, my mom shared a scripture with me uh, when I was about 10, 11 years old. And that scripture was, you can, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And that was the first moment that I started to believe that God's word actually works. And I, I carry that scripture in my heart um, throughout my entire baseball career. But the one thing I believe that my faith in Christ, my faith in believing that God was going to help strengthen me and believing that all things were going to work together for my good. It's very difficult to stay grounded, um, especially at the major league level, because you've accomplished so much. So when you've done something so great or has done something so big, um, your egos, our egos, um, tend to get in the way. I mean, that's human nature. That's uh, just a part of of who we are. I think the biggest thing for me is um, having a dream, believing in yourself, believing in your abilities, knowing that through hard work, through perseverance, through um, the ups and the downs, just staying positive and surrounding yourself with people that are the right people in your lives. You know they're the right people when right things start happening in your life.